give birth in 15 days and I just found out my husband cheated on me this morning. I'm not really too fucked up about it because I mean, you cheated on me for like five years now, so it's like, you know, the usual, usual kind of thing. <sighs> I don't know why I'm gonna play with spiritual women. Like, sir, I feel it. And I literally been telling him, every time you cheat, I feel it. I think that he think that I'm exaggerating. Like, sir, don't you realize every time you get caught, you get caught. I feel it. And we've been together for five years. Like, sir, I there's the pattern we have. We go to sleep every night together. So the minute something's out of order, yeah, somebody's gonna clock it. Anyway, story goes, y'all. I have been having a sensation for quite some time. Not really, I lied, it's probably been a week. I've just been having a strong, strong, strong situation, sensation. But the sensation got crazy last, yesterday. Like, it was strong yesterday. Mind you, I am giving birth in 15 days. So honestly, even though I could have like been trying to find out, and like get evidence, y'all make criminal justice. I don't know how to act. <laughs> Everything's defended, protected, defective around this motherfucker. But anyways, y'all, <laughs> I really wanted to scope for real. Like, oh, oh, I'm also going to school for medical assistance, so everything is scope of practice around here too. <laughs> but I've been really wanted to find out. But I'm like, fuck, man, I'm giving birth in 15 days. Like, I don't want to fucking like ruin this moment because I Lord every time I. I go searching for something, I find it. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the shit just is, but it was on my chest. Like when it's something heavy, it's like, ugh, it just went and let up off of me. So boom, it started off yesterday. No, it actually didn't start it. First of all, he changed our sex position. He started like doing some monkey ass gorilla shit on me. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, let me, I want to show y'all what the fuck he started doing. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone up so I can roll the tape. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be like this, right? <laughs> I'm more in the middle, but he's doing positions like this, <sighs> like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he uh, he's like, uh, uh, uh. and then he's like, on um, one leg, he's like, uh, and it was just like, sir, uh, we don't do that. Okay, as mentioned in the last part, it started off with the sex positions changing. I didn't know if he was just trying to induce my labor or he just was like on some kinky shit. I don't know. So boom, yesterday, um, really things just been going through my head, but yesterday was like the trigger of it all for real. Because yesterday he came and he needed to the shower. Now while that can be normal, it's just like, it was just the vibration, the energy. Did y'all know we were made up of energy and dirt? Yeah. And then vibrations was vibrating. It, it wasn't a regular kind of shower. So I ended up cooking. I cooked some cornbread, green beans, and baked chicken yesterday. And y'all know the little mittens you use to pick up the pan? Like, I was looking for them. And I had remember I did laundry uh, this week and I had left them in the dryer. So I go to get the mittens out the dryer and he immediately runs in the bathroom to get the phone. So I mumbled. I'm like, yeah, I know he grabbed that phone. Then he up or something. So then I come out the bathroom. He's like, what you said? And then I, I, I don't know if I repeat exactly what I said, but I said something along the lines about something about that phone. And he got real like defensive and like started going off. I'm like, yeah, he doing something. <sighs> Dude, we gotta sleep because like, we gotta sleep together. So now we're going to sleep. And it's just like, he cannot, he is like sleeping with one eye open. I feel like every time I move left, he moved right behind me. Like this motherfucker, it just felt like he couldn't sleep. Like he was like antsy. Like if he just knew I was going to go grab that phone. And while the fuck I was, like, baby, when I say I want to crawl, jump, hop, scop, up on, up on his side of the bed to go get that fucking phone, like, everything in me just wants to get that phone. But, my job, I give birth in 15 days, so I'm at the same time, like, man, I don't really want to do that because I don't really want to hurt my own feelings. And you know what they say, like, don't really go through a man's phone because, like, you'll fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want to look like a fucking goofy. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I'm not going to go through his phone. I'm going to leave it alone. So I put myself to do I put myself to bed. I watched me some cornstarch bed videos and I put myself to bed. Okay, so when I woke up, um, I woke up like four minutes after the alarm went off. Now mind you, I stay at home. I don't really do too much because I am giving birth in two weeks, so I sit around a lot. But I still make it my business to do duties around the house. And I also make it my business to wake my husband up for work. But this time things were starting to like change up within the, like the last two weeks. That's why I say like stuff had been changing, but like I really wasn't putting 
pressure on it. Because last week, he had the same exact work schedule. He had to be to work at 6.30. Now, if he wakes up around 5, his job is literally 36 minutes exactly away. But if he was to wake up a little after 5 and have to be at work at 6.30, his job, because it's in Boston, the traffic do get crazy, his job will be around an hour away. So him leaving like an hour early for work, it just made complete sense. Even though he had to drive 30 minutes, but it made sense because a minute late, he'll be in an hour traffic. Cool, 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 cool. What's tripping on that? But then today, something special happened. Actually, I fucking lied. This week, something special happened. I want to say it was either Monday or Tuesday. This motherfucker started waking up at four o'clock. And I'm like, the fuck? You waking up an extra hour before the wake up time. Like, mind you, I wake up. So the problem was this morning, the five o'clock alarm went off. My job started because I did stay up late because I was contemplating on beating the shit out of him and taking his phone. So I didn't go to sleep till about three o'clock. But I still woke the fuck up. It was four in my phone. It was four minutes after five. I turn over, I'm like trying to pat him like, babe, wake up. He's up, he's going. So I'm thinking nothing of it because I'm in my mind. I'm so tired. I'm like, well, maybe he in the shower. Maybe he got up like 10 minutes before the alarm and, you know, start getting ready. But then, y'all know, I'm pregnant. I pee a lot. So I'm like, fuck, I got to pee real bad. So I got up to pee and I realized, oh, this motherfucker's gone. Like, he's out the house. So mind you, their pattern didn't start until this week when he's talking about getting up at the 4 o'clock thing. And it's crazy because before I could ask, I'm pretty sure he had sensed that I had a problem with that. So he already told me that he was getting up at four o'clock and leaving two hours early for work because he had no parking. He had, it was some parking he needed. Mind y'all, y'all do my little detective do the investigation. He worked at four four eighty in the Plaza in Kent, Massachusetts. Bitch, the building is a parking lot. So how the fuck you ain't got parking? I've been with you for five years. I've been at a job for four. You ain't got parking. There's no parking. Okay. So that was the biggest red flag. So boom. Mind you, like I said, he was gone. I do have his GPS, but because I got y'all not talking about my own motherfucking feelings, I didn't want to check it. I don't really check his GPS. So I ended up checking the GPS and come to find out, to my surprise, this bitch is at work. He's like at the location at work. So I'm like, motherfucker, the wake up time just did the wake up time is five o'clock. It's here. And you at the job already. So what time did you fucking leave? It took 30 minutes. Like, you was up mad early. And you was gone. Mind you, I am very traumatized by this fucking relationship. This man has cheated on me in every which way in the fucking book. I'm traumatized. This man is sneaky. Like, he is real life a sneaky rat. Okay, so I don't know why I left off that. But after looking at his GPS, he was at work, right? Okay, cool. So now my fucking whiskers that I don't have started to fucking grow and like it went crazy. And I'm like, yeah, little bitch, he, he's doing something. Find out now. So I first, mind you, I do have his old Facebook on my phone because I did like revoke his access. No, he's not a child. He's a grown ass man, but he's a man with no privilege around this motherfucker considering everything he's done to me. So I go to his old Facebook and I'm like looking at his dating profile. Well, it doesn't exist, but I was looking for a dating profile. And I was gonna like look at if, as if like he had a new account and I was gonna like, cause I know if I had looked on my account, he's probably gonna delete anything that attaches to my name. He's gonna like block the page. So I looked from his account. But the way Facebook dating is set up, even once you put preferences in, it's just gonna make you keep scrolling like either like or dislike. It doesn't give you like a list. like his other favorite apps so that that shit was just not a great resource so then i proceeded to download his favorite two apps of them all pof and fucking tag and that's when she got real so i made a account call gotcha literally y'all y'all should see the pictures i'm gonna put i'm post a screenshot of how like the picture is i was like you know gotcha okay so this is the account i made and um clearly y'all can see this is my spot it's probably why he cheated on me now and I just want to know why the fuck are y'all up so early? Are y'all getting a cheated on Tim? But no, all jokes aside, so I made the account right. So I made a fake age because I know he like older women than me. Like just based off of like the previous experiences we had, you know, they're, they're always typically older than me. So I have to put 28, I'm 25. <laughs> this is just embarrassing. <laughs> like this is not funny. It's like embarrassing, but y'all not even too fucked up about it. Like this is sad. So boom, based off our experiences, I first then proceeded to put the preference at his uh, job zip code, which I believe is 02129. 
and I put a 15 to 20 mile radius because the last altercation we had when he cheated on me, um, the girl was like in New Hampshire, which is close to his job. And he was talking about linking up with her at, I guess with his work truck at his job or whatever to smoke with her. So to my surprise, I didn't find nothing. But my instinct just did, would not let out. It was like, bitch, there's something out there. Go find it. So like I was saying, first of all, I'm gonna sue the fuck out of Apple because now they starting to glitch my motherfucking phone and it ain't a scratch on its phone. It's no way this shit should be glitching. And I also fucked up. That was supposed to be part four and it's supposed to be part five. Ugh, everything going wrong telling this story. This is going to be part six. I don't care. I'm just going to keep proceeding. So because I couldn't find a fucking, um, I couldn't find him using his uh, work zip code, you know, and I, I, like I said, I just knew like my instinct wouldn't let up. Like there is something out there. And just based off our previous experiences, like in the way he's moving, I'm like, bro, he's doing something. I just need to find out what the something is this time. So, um, I ended up changing the zip code. He always will tell me I had so many apps open that it actually worked. My phone stopped freezing. Thank you, babe. Now I can tell your story. So yeah, so this time I put that um he was in Brockton because I started to think how I think. Like that is true. You gotta think how a man think. Like to be successful with a man, think how I think. So I started to think about towns that he usually like emphasize on. You know, like we in Boston. So I was like, yeah, he talks about Dorchester because like he got a favorite Jamaican spot over there. But I know he wouldn't talk to a bitch from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And I know his usual casual hood that he used to live in was Brockton. So I'm like, the next town over that's close to like his work area or somebody I felt like he would have talked to in kind of town, girl, thingy, it would have been Brockton. So I changed the location to Brockton, Massachusetts. I also changed the age because I know like he don't lie about his age, but he lies about his age. Like he'll change, he'll, he'll create a different kind of age because he know that because we have previous experiences where I had to do this same exact method before, um, he'll put a different age so, he, you know, it doesn't generate to my account, you know, like if he put that he's actually 33 and this and that, that at least that's how I was thinking. But to my surprise, he, 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 he didn't do too much to just stop. So after putting in Brockton and I put his age range, he's 33, so I put 30 to 35, long behold, guess who pops up? My motherfucking handsome ass husband. It's the most wonderful time up. I'm going to him up real bad. Wait till he get home tonight. JK, he ain't got a home. So, kind of fun. He did put his real age. I actually took this photo. This is why I tell him today. I'm traumatized. I do not like taking photo of him. I boosted his confidence for five years. And this is what he do. It's like he still seek attention from outside of the home. I can't do it no more. I'm traumatized. Like, this is a great day. And you use this as your profile picture. That's fucked up. Also, Attleboro, this is the last time we moved. And if you really watch me consistently, you'll know that this is the time, the house we left because we was arguing, fighting behind him, cheating. But yes, y'all, that's my handsome husband on POF, his favorite website, looking for another woman, talking to other women. But it gets better. Okay, y'all, hold on because I'm I'm a little shaking because I'm about to get a little, I'm about to get a little fucked up. Tell me why I just remember on September 25th, this came to his email because I do have his email. Shauna S is asking for $22 for travel. That's a specific thing she's asking for. And considering my husband has been caught paying for the Ussie before, which is something else I'm traumatized behind. I remember asking him about this and I'm like, who the fuck is Shauna S? Shauna S. Oh, I don't know. Then she asked him for $22. That's a specific number. Damn, you didn't have to remain the balance, my guy? Travel? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This man been playing in my face. So on today's itinerary, I'm about to go to his job and pick my car up. Yes, my car. I'm also about to go see how this whole child support stuff or deal finna go out because clearly this is not gonna work. I just got your domestic violence case dismissed literally two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Damn, you couldn't hold up a month? I'm gonna go pick up those paperwork. Actually, I think I have the paperwork showing that we had domestic violence problems starting with because you were cheating. Hold on. Y'all could pause to read this screenshot. This I think this was the report because mind you, they had been coming in. I think they state that in this report. I don't know which report this. We had several, but I think this is the one where they state we had several. And I think this is the one I lied to the cops about him and who he was because I didn't want to get him in trouble. But somewhere in there, I think it states that he was cheating. I don't know if it was this page or the next one. I just don't even fuck feel like reading. But this goes to show, see, Attleboro Police, I had to get the statement because I also had to follow a restraining order on him um, that eventually ended. 
Oh, yeah. See that third paragraph. See, we arguing, verbal arguing about him cheating. Da, 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 da. So, when I say yes, I've been going through this for five years. Yes, I, I actually mean that. I mean that for real, for real. Applaud to me. Because this was what y'all call black woman strength, right? <laughs> yeah, all that bullshit. And him being a foreigner, let me tell y'all, they fucking lied. They fucking lied. And I, this is, I hope these don't get to Kamala, but this is why I don't want to vote for Kamala because this is what she's going to do. She's going to allow these immigrants to come over here. And as that man stated last night, them push, them people push them fentanyl. And he also do this. They are also, they ain't no fucking better. They have children with us and then they leave us for dirt. The only thing that these foreigners are good for is making the money. And even as an American, that's still bad for us because how the fuck are you going to get a job? Yeah, think a little deeper than that. You going back home, my guy. You lucky you a fucking citizen because your sister is an FBI for the New York people. Yeah, because if, if I had to, oh, he better know. Oh, he do know. Actually, I called the people. I forgot the people. I called the, the embassy. And I told them he was doing stuff, even though he wouldn't do nothing. But I was trying to get his ass deported. I just wanted to know what I got to do. The steps I need to take. Because you going back home, big fella. Uh-huh. Big fella. You're, you're taking that ass back to Jamaica. But I got to get ready for my neurology appointment, y'all. To make sure I can push our baby out without fucking dying because I get fluids in my brain. But, uh, you know, long as Sean to get her $22 for travel. Life's good in your book, huh? And then your pussy ass gonna get back on that motherfucker I would go so you was on that bitch at 839. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to pack your shit. For real. Expeditely. Just look at you. When a man show you who he, what he is the first time, believe it. My show me 300. And clearly, I didn't fucking believe him until now. Yeah, such a girl. Like, how you gonna invest in my criminal justice detective career to do this to me? I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm, this is what you do to your family. You had 15 days. Until your son, your firstborn son will be here. And this is what you do to the mother. Considering you don't even raise your other two girls. Because of this behavior. You think that you're still 12, don't you? You think you're a fucking hopping bop? You fucking, ugh. Now my next question is, do this boy deserve you in his life? I don't want him to be raised like you. And I stated that this whole fucking pregnancy. He don't need you. The hell? I don't want him to be like you. I want him to be better than you. I actually want him to cherish women. We go through enough. We go through enough. Because it starts with your behavior. With men like you who think and act like you. And then as a black woman, when we react, we get, we, we get torn down lower and lower and lower. The only way we can be high up is if we raise our own goddamn hip and keep our own crown up. Because apparently, giving y'all access to do so, y'all fellas every fucking time. But I actually want my son to be the king. I want him to be that, that one percentage that can hold a woman's standards high. He can hold that woman's crown at the very middle of her head. I would want him to call you a bitch, but I ain't gonna want him to disrespect his elders. And every time I look at you, I see death. Then you play about your life like shit funny. Like you. <sighs> yeah, I'm just mad. Let me shut up. I'm about to go get ready to fuck shit up. I'll call y'all back. If this is the young lady, Shana S, that reported that wanted $22 from him for travel. No wonder he was coming in here acting like a fucking animal dog styling me like that. Because she looked like she with the shit like that. Like, she looked like she give procedures like that but this is my last message and this this is i'm gonna wrap it up and i'm gonna i'm gonna handle it in private y'all no matter how much fucking beautiful you are it can happen to you now don't be stupid like me i ain't saying that can happen to you don't be don't be as stupid as me i got married to a man i thought i was living a fairy tale the happy dream marriage does not guarantee a fuck thing and it don't matter if i got married young or old just for the motherfuckers who be like oh you got married young no motherfucker because i'm I ain't gonna say too much, but I know motherfuckers with careers, degrees, big homes and cars and kids. And that motherfucker cheating on her the same way mine cheating on me. Crazy, right? So keep them opinions low vibration, okay? Anyway, like I said, it don't matter if you get married to me. It don't matter if you been with him XYZ. It don't matter how pretty. It don't matter if you got a BBB, WWW. I mean, BBL. Girl, there is no stipulations on keeping a fucking man. 
Okay, you can suck him every night. He's still gonna want more. You know what I have calculated over the last five years as well? I've known over four men who have uh, been allowed threesomes into their relationship. They were blessed, include my husband. They were blessed with women who like women. Two bad kissing in the backseat type of vibe. And them men still went out and cheated. Include my husband. Like, I promise you there is nothing we can do. <laughs> I'm really not taking this situation serious like this. It's actually kind of scared me. I need to figure this out immediately. Really ain't a lot to figure it out. It's really self-explanatory. Baby, I need to do me. I just need to do me. Not do me like in that sense, but like really just focus on me. But I'm not even gonna lie y'all. It's hard. It's easy said than done. So like, and because I'm a woman, like, let me, let me tell you how my life is a blessing and a curse. I literally say to myself, I do not have friends because I don't want friends. Not because I can't, because I don't want to, because I have a great personality and I'm really a great person in real life. But I just choose not to want friends more because I deal with this kind of man. So I gotta, I gotta keep that shit to a distance. And then too, I just, I enjoy my own company. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really enjoy my own space. I just, I get distracted easy and I do have a lot of goals to accomplish. So I try to, I tend to study myself. Which ultimately can be a blessing because you know, it, it helps me focus. I can learn myself. Da, 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 da. But at the same time, when shit like this happens, when you do have the people that's in your circle and then, you know, you know, they start fucking up. It's like, damn, kind of need that outer to like be able to talk to and like really kind of help you rejuvenate. But on the bright side, because I'm spiritual, baby, who got me? The higher, not her. Let me check this off. Hold on. I'm taking the shit. But God got me. God got me, y'all. And like I said, it's my last message. I'm not speaking on it no more. I'm going to handle it in private and I'm going to pray to God. Watch me step back and step harder. Because <laughs> I'm that girl. Here's another episode of bullshit that I deal with. While I am now 11 days from giving birth, still dealing with my cheating ass husband. This was in May when I had to contact a young lady that I seen in his phone that I was just like, I'm really fucking curious. Like, who is she? Contact her, ask who she, who, like, how did she know him? Blah, blah, blah. So a picture. This is embarrassing on my behalf, but whatever. Bitch, I be wanting to know. Because when I come to you, I want to come to you already knowing. Like, it's not even about, like, oh, you coming to a woman about your man. No, I don't look at it like that. I just look at it when I go to him, and I go to him, I want to be factual, actual. So, I, when I do my Dizio, like, it all came from facts and documentation. But anywho, sister girl say, uh, I met him off of P.O.F. Why? You know, we chopped it up, whatever. Not too crazy. I don't even worry about her. And then y'all see, that was in May, right? This whole interaction was in May. This is what I was telling him. I'm like, since you, I, you may be a visual learner. Because when I say shit to you, you just act like stupid. So I was just like, that was literally five months ago. What did you say? I will change. I promise I won't ever download the app. You said I love you. I want my family to work. Here we are in fucking October. And you're downloading another fucking app. You're, it says you're looking for a woman. It says you're active now. Oh, okay. Okay, so these were back in April of 2023. Like I said, I've been dealing with him for five years. She know me. This is when he was buying the Usti. This was their conversation. Matter of fact, this location was the location. I think this was the last home. Yeah, because we, we moved to Massachusetts in May. So this was the end of April. I actually had caught him leaving this hotel. It was this hotel. I had woke up four o'clock in the morning. He was gone. Snuck back in with his robe on, child. I was like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed you in my city doing this. We're, le we're leaving. We're leaving. So we ended up moving to Massachusetts. But yeah, this is proof that my husband does in fact do this shit. Are you available? Yes, love. Where are you at? This is when we were living on the north side. I was living on 45 and 1960. And he's trying to get it guapped out. And he wants me to stay. I just found out. I'm, I'm going to give birth to your child in 11 days. And I found out you're back on the app. And you want me to believe you love me. You want me to believe you're, you're going to change for the baby. I came before the baby. What makes you think you can change for me? Matter of fact, you had kids before me and the baby. You didn't change for them. You still out here breaking homes. Sad case, my boy. I'm about to file separation paper, baby. You about my life. I can't deal with you no more. You, I'm going to let you be somebody else's problem. Because clearly you, you ain't got nobody self-control. 
I don't know what the hell you, your life consists of, but it's just too much for me. Okay, y'all, this is the last part. So, after finding him on the app and, like, getting what I was fucking looking for, I proceeded to fucking text this man, y'all. Like, you know, just let him know, hey, I found your account. I know you're doing something now. Don't come back to the house, da 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 First of all, I want to address the fact that he got 19 fucking likes. That means you been on this app. Like, you been active. 19 different women decide to let you know you handsome that they took the time to like your profile. 19. This page ain't fucking new. You ain't new to this. You true to this. All right. Okay, so as mentioned, I am a school for criminal justice. Uh, I believe he's the defendant. I'm the prosecutor. It states that he was active two fucking hours ago. Mind you, that's 6 o'clock. What, what time did I tell y'all my husband left for work? He, clock it. He That alarm did not go off to 5 o'clock. That's the typical, usual time he has to wake up. My husband was gone off this house at 4 something. Okay, so I ended up texting him, you know, all of, I don't know what's going on, on my phone or TikTok. This shit is bugging though, but bro. Anyways, he ended up typing. Okay, so I just told him like don't type, don't come to the house, da da da. da. I'm just aggravated about it. But I never tell him like don't don't even type back, you know, don't come to the house, don't do shit, like just leave me alone, stuff like that. He stopped typing, he hasn't responded, he hasn't said nothing. I do have his GPS. I'm pretty sure he where I haven't even looked at his GPS. Honestly, no, I'm not too fucked up behind it. I cannot cry. I can be sad. I don't know. I'm just numb to the shit. I've been through it for so long. Okay, y'all. This is the last part. So, after finding him on the app and, like, getting what I was fucking looking for, I proceeded to fucking text this man, y'all. Like, you know, just let him know, hey, I found your account. I know you're doing something now. Don't come back to the house. da 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 First of all, I want to address the fact that he got 19 fucking likes. That means you been on this app. Like, you been active. 19 different women decide to let you know you handsome that they took the time to like your profile. 19. This page ain't fucking new. You ain't new to this. You true to this. Alright. Okay, y'all. Twitch, I just blacked a lot. I'm pretty sure because I called you a stove because y'all was asking me slow questions in my comments and it's not making me feel better. So now I'm going to retell the fucking story right now. Like I said, yo, this started yesterday, okay? Yesterday, when I was on live with y'all, y'all know he said he was going to the club. I was acting not shit like, like, cool, but of course, like, bro, I'm pregnant. I want you to buy. I want this stuff to work. I'm finna give birth in nine days, yo. But I'm like, fuck it, yo. You want to go to the club? Go to the club. I'm not even, I'm gonna I'm play cool, you know what I'm saying? Bro, go to the club. Whatever, he called me. Oh, I miss you. I want my family back. Da -da -da. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like, I'm gonna play nonchalant, whatever. I low key, I really was. If you wanna be honest, I ain't had no clothes. I'm thinking you finna do the do when you come home. You didn't do nothing. You got on the couch. I don't know what time you came home, but I know it was around four or five in the morning because I, I, I kinda like woke up, but I like, I was tired of shit. All right, cool. I didn't even see on his trip. I didn't know. We actually had a productive day. Like, we went, we had my nephew, bro. We was chilling, we was cooling, right? All right, so boom. Bro was like, I'm gonna go to the doctor. My chest hurt. My chest hurting. So I'm like, all right, you know, like he had missing his chest hurting for days now. Like, and I tell him, I've been telling him for almost a week now. Like, bro, your health is your wealth, nigga. Like, go to the doctor. I need you to go make sure you cool. All right, cool. He go to the doctor today. He got an HIV test. I'm gonna just jump right to the butt. I'm gonna go. I'm diving into the store. He got an HIV test, and that's the part of like I've been to the doctor, bro. My heart racing out of my control. I know what they do. They do EKGs. They do your metabolic uh tests, everything. They don't test you for no HIV though. You have to request. I'm like, bro, he requested that. Mind you, my sister, I'm on the phone with her. I'm like, bro, why come I got an HIV test? Like he had to request that. She making jokes about it. Ha 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 ha. I'm, I'm, I'm like, no, nah, that's weird. I, no, baby, I've been, I've been in the hospital. Y'all call me Doc, Miss, Mrs. Hospital. Because y'all know I don't play about my health. Y'all know I don't fuck around with that. So, boom. He doc, he on the phone. He doctor come in. He, I'm going to call you back. Now, mind you, I'm used to that kind of behavior. Was my sister do that? But she told me why she do Because, you know, that's my sister. Like, she the woman, the woman. She don't want me in her business. But for my husband to do that? Red flag. And I told my, I'm just like, what the fuck, girl? So she goes, she joking about it. I'm like, no, baby, why my husband getting off the phone with me? He got an HIV testing. I'm putting two and two together. But mind you, 
I'm playing cool because I'm asleep. I'm with my nephew. So I'm, I'm, so I'm just telling me don't think too much of it. So I'm not thinking too much of it, right? All right, cool. Jumping back into the store. He ended up going to sleep. Something in my motherfucking heart. Once again, I keep telling him my instinct. Something's can't go through that phone. Now, mind you, I've been refraining from going through that phone because every time I go through my husband's phone, yo, I make myself mad. He's doing something. So it's honestly been so long before I touch my husband's phone because I, I don't, I just want, I brought him by to get birth for nine days. I don't want to piss me off. I don't want to piss my child off. I go through the phone. Boom, he got a message that's under the deleted file. It's a girl, he talking about some, oh, what's the Addy? I'm, you good, I'm good. Um, don't touch this phone no more. So I called the girl. I bet it was a girl. I ended up calling the number. She, I said, you know, Kamara, she who? Then she, she, I said, it's my husband. He called me. He said, he called you four, five in the morning. She hung up on me. So I'm like, I threw the phone on. I woke up, I threw the phone. I'm like, who is she? Here he go. You know, he about to get the line. He, he, he's scared. He won. He's scared. All right. So, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's just when when the shit start adding up, y'all. When the shit start adding up, y'all. Oh Jesus. Mm. Anyways, he starts saying, "Oh, I don't know her. Oh, what did she? Oh, he kept saying this. What did she tell you? What did she tell you?" So I'm like, "Bro, she she told me she don't know you. So now he had he trying to build up his life. He go, oh, she don't know me. Uh." And I'm like, no, she don't know you because whatever name you have as a profile, because my we just had the, the tag thing like two days ago. So I'm like, he probably got the girl off the tag. Of course, she don't know you in the governor. She probably know you as Unruly Allen. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so boom. Bro, I leave out. I pack my shit, I leave. But then I thought about this my motherfucking house. I'm coming back home. And I told him, I was like, yo, I'm taking your, your key thing. I'm deactivating that. You take my car, I'm calling my shit and stolen. And you're gonna file a separation. We're gonna go to separation court tomorrow. Like, that's it. So at this point, you know, he gotta try to spit out his lie. Oh, she's for the 420. I got it from the um the club security guy. He gave me her number for the 420. Girl sell 420. I'm like, yo, you're bullshit. Bullshit. And you're lying to my you're dead ass, like look at me. You're lying to me. A person like me that I showed you so many times. What the power of my instinct could do. So, me knowing he lying, bro, bro, like, bro, I'm knowing, I'm like, bro, okay, now you're pressing me to go find out more. You're, you're pressing me to find out more. So, I've seen before where people put the numbers in Cash App and it'll pop up things. So, I did that. But then I thought, I'm like, it's a text now number. And I did it and the number didn't pop up. Something told me to put the fucking number in Google. Y'all, put the fucking number. I want to put proof up here, but I, I, I'm scared the video going to get taken out. I ended up putting the fucking uh, number in on Google. It says... Fucking let's crawl Boston Escort. She's 37 years old. Her booty picture. The town she's in. I said, wow. Bust out crying. You was with a fucking prostitute last night? Four in the morning? And that's why you woke up and chose to run to the fucking ER when I was with my nephew's sleep and you didn't want me to come with you? Because you knew you want to help and go get an HIV testing. And then he gonna tell me, oh, I only got it because I've been beating my thing and it was burning. <laughs> oh, I give birth to this baby in nine days is all I can think about y'all. Nine days. And I feel like, God, you gave me a husband. And I asked you before we went sign them documents if it was meant to be, allow it. But if it wouldn't meet the be, please. You could have messed that day, y'all. We got married on Valentine's Day. God could have destroyed that day. We could have gotten a record, anything. God, what was the purpose? Because my last straw, my last day with him has been the worst feeling ever that I could ever imagine right now. This is my husband. Right before I give birth, I had so many miscarriages. We prayed. We we put our hands together asking for this child. And this is how he going to be delivered. I have fought and had faith to not divorce him. Because I wanted my son to be raised in a two-parent household. I wanted. I wanted my son to feel loved by us equally. In a home. Foundation. Equally. 
I guess I can't have my way. But yeah, y'all. I know what I gotta do next. I'm hurt, but I'm gonna get past it. Bye. <laughs> and as I motherfucking stated, it was requested. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I might be a little dumb and it's not hilarious, but I'm far from stupid. The chief complaint, I am going to school. I am studying to be a medical assistant, y'all. And I knew that if he went in there with a chief complaint or chest pain, it is no way you're going to walk out of there with a goddamn HIV test. It just, it don't, it don't correlate. Okay, so you initially did go in there for a chief complaint, but you also diasteria. I probably didn't go say it wrong. I'm probably saying it wrong. But basically, if you Google it, it means he had burning in the origin. His, his dangling burning, okay? Now, right before he walked out, he did mention that he was beating it, and that's what was causing the burning sensation. But it's like, nah, that, that's not, not that's, that don't make sense. You've been beating your shit for years. I actually been asking you for years to stop beating it. You have an addiction to beating it. Beat it, beat it. I'm just trying to make fun of this. But thank God for the prayers, too. I want to mention that. Also... I broke down again about this because this tells me you either let that woman touch you orally without a uh, protection and or you also stuck you your stuff in her without protection that you felt like this came from or this was the time to be tested about this And I'm just happy I haven't had intercourse with you. Like I said, I'm due to have a baby in nine days. And if you get in tests like syphilis and HIV, them kind of things don't just pop up overnight. That stuff that HIV itself will take years. You could have put me and the baby at risk. Um, I don't want to cry no more, y'all. I'm so tired. I literally got a fucking headache right now from crying. So I'm really trying to calm my spirit down. But yeah when i seen that word that told me everything i needed to know but you did come back negative for everything so i still bring this thing i don't think i don't know if they touched you for gonna read it all in all of them or it just ain't came in yet but i still want to know why you're still burning and then you saying that your stuff just started burning like because you never told me you burn and i don't know the last time we had intercourse like a week ago it wasn't burning it in. So if I put my two two together, clearly it was after that that situation with the girl. Uh you are never mind. Never mind. Good night, y'all. Hey y'all, I know y'all was asking me questions. So I'm gonna just give some answer to a few of the questions that y'all was asking me. Sorry it took so long. I really, really wanted to make sure that all his test results came in. Actually, I'm not gonna pause the video. First and foremost, I want to say that thank y'all for the prayers. Secondly, um, because I have had this experience with him, I want to say it would happen two years ago. He ended up giving me chlamydia. Um, that's why I take my health serious, and I do have his my chart um, connected to mine now. So that's how I was able to see everything. No, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have told me he was going to get tested for that. Also, did I post it? I don't know. But you could see that he did ask. He did say his stuff was burning. And that's why they went down the route of getting him the STD check-in. Um, no, I'm not with him. Yes, I felt the separation. No, I haven't talked to him. Did I say? I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not being with him. He's negative for everything. Thank God. I'm lost for it. I don't know what more to say. I give birth in nine days, y'all. This is so upsetting. But this goes to show y'all, it doesn't matter if you marry a man. He say, I do. He, he sing vows to you. That does not stop a man from doing what he want to do. And I am a living proof, a living witness, a proof, whatever, of that, okay? Marriage does not exempt you from hardships that a man could put you through. Especially while carrying his child. We uh, have been married for five years. We got married February 14, 2020. Uh, we do not stay in Houston, y'all. We used to stay in Houston. 
I got so many goddamn story times, y'all. If you want to be honest, I'll put it out there. He got caught cheating with a prostitute in Houston, April of 2023. He came in the house with his robe on. And I caught him. I went to the hotel. I'm going to do a whole story time on it, okay? But I ended up leaving my city because I was really embarrassed. Like, he had done so much in my city. My, I'm from Houston. He had done so much. And the thing is, like, I'm 25 now. So I'm, some of the girls I went to school with, grew up with, like, they lived that life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, like, in my mind, I don't know. What if you didn't hooked up with one of the girls I know so I was just all around embarrassed and I was like okay we gonna get the fuck out the city so I ended up we ended up moving back to Boston we originally met in Boston and I moved back to Boston because I'm like oh hell to the no this shit getting out of hand yeah I'm gonna do another story time y'all it was so many times y'all um I know y'all gonna ask me why I stayed I'm also talk about why I stay that's never I just want to elaborate that no, it's not a damn good reason there's no good reason for me to have stayed it's no excuse that was made in heaven or hell of a, a reason for me to stay okay I just want to put that out there I take full accountability for the force all the situations honestly because I put me through it you know I blame me before I blame him also, I want to address that I'm not upset with God. I was simply asking God, like, legitly, what was the purpose? Like, I know if I said I asked God before we went to that courthouse, honestly, it was a red flag like that day, too, because he was, like, really hesitant. But later on, which I got another story time for, I'm going to try to knock that all in one. He ended up telling, like, he was thinking about his other BM and da 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 but he said during the argument, he said that part during the argument. So I don't know if he was really mad or if that was true, which I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like it's true. But you know, that's when I started telling him, like, you know, if God allow it, then it's meant to be. If he don't, then you know, we're not gonna force it. But God allow it. So what I was saying in the video, I was saying, God, like, you allowed it, you know? So ultimately there was a purpose behind it. I always did truly believe. Because I had three miscarriages. I was did truly believe that I was having miscarriages because I was with the right person. And there's a scripture or something my aunt had told me, showed me in the Bible where basically, long story short, I ended up like cursing at God. Okay? Like, I ended up calling him out his name and everything. And he gave me what I wanted. So, I'm not, like, I don't want to go into the Christianity meaning behind it. But he gave me what I wanted. He's still going to protect me, but he gave me what I wanted. And at the end of the day, y'all absolutely correct on that. It just simply wasn't my time. Man. And God was showing me in it. I'm so, no, I'm sorry. Bro. God was showing me in advance that he wasn't the right man. But I kept forcing, crying to God, begging, 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 begging. Like, oh, let's try this. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. And God did it. Well, I still think that God had a purpose behind my son um, being conceived. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just so hurt, y'all. I'm just like, I can't breathe. I'm still lost for words. So, please bear with me. Because this is devastating. Like, you guys, you, have, you are about to... Huh, okay. I'm going to make a story time, y'all. All right. I didn't record it this three times. Okay, so... I wrote a list of stuff to talk about because I really want to like try to like yeah get over this uh so we do stay in Boston Massachusetts y'all we used to stay in Houston Texas I am originally from Houston Texas um we left Houston because one day it was four o'clock in the morning I woke up he wasn't in the bed I went outside to check for the car it was gone I think somebody had maybe stole the car but mind you he's not he's not home too so I'm like what the fuck is that so I ended up checking his gps and he said he was at a paradise inn on 1960 uh 45 so i'm like wait what the fuck is he at a hotel so i'm like waiting 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 i ain't even gonna say shit so i ended up playing sleep when he came in i got cheeky eyes so like he couldn't tell if i was woke asleep so i played sleep so i see him go back in the living room then i pulled up the uh gps and i walked in the living room. i'm like where the fuck was you at why was you at a hotel 
So, of course, like I said, he has been full of fucking lies this whole fucking relationship. So, he's put, trying to put on his night clothes to, like, get back in the bed and shit. So, like, I'm like, no, let's go to the hotel. We get to the hotel. I'm about to tell the people, look at the cameras. I'm like, go make it up a story. He's lying, like, well, he's not lying. He's, I'm telling him, like, don't get out the car. He gets out the car. Of course, at this point, I'm screaming at him, making a scene. So, the people are like, oh, we can't provide you with a camera. After sitting there doing a little digging and you know going back and forth, I seen a room number that he was just in. So I parked in front of the room number and I started blow, like blowing the horn for like probably a good five minutes straight. Everybody's coming outside, everybody's talking shit. Never is it okay to check another woman that they are uh, SWs. They have no knowledge as to the, what these people do outside of their personal life. So on my behalf, I don't apologize, but I do apologize. But seriously, like that, she had nothing to do. And she was very much not aware, and she honestly she don't give a damn. So. You know, it was a little dumb on my end. Um, yeah, that's that story. And that's why we moved back to Boston um, last April. Next, I want to talk about how I found out he had gave me chlamydia. It's because we was paying out of pocket to a fertility clinic. We were trying to have a baby. And long story short, you know, they do all your little testings and stuff. Just th That was just like the beginning, the basis of it all. One day, we was laying down and stuff. Well, we was actually like sleep. It was, uh, it was a Monday. She called me 8 o'clock in the morning, like, I don't really get up early, so I was like, okay, like, tired, and I'm like, okay, I'm happy at the same time, because it's like, you know, whatever, what she probably telling me my next appointment, you know, to start the procedure, or start the thing. She called me, you know, she asked me to verify my information, and stuff like that. Then she proceeds to say, uh, yeah, you've been diagnosed with chlamydia. I said, what? Mind you, I am married. I know I don't sleep around. I don't know why, I just kind of assumed my husband wasn't doing anything. Long story short, it took him all of his fucking life because, you know, he got to come up with his lies. He got to do his thinky winky. And he ended up telling me he actually, and I, you know, it's crazy because him and his friend would joke about happy hours and stuff. But apparently, they actually do have happy hours in strip clubs. Um, so he said that he had in a course and got world for somebody in a strip club that was literally across the fucking house, across from our house. While that could be true, I'm pretty sure there's more to the story because... I know how to, you know, I'm very aware that the girls be having to keep themselves clean. Ugh. Anyways, it's either between that strip club or, like I said, somebody's prostitute. I don't know. Also, I know y'all was wondering, like, why I stayed. Like I said, there's no real good goddamn reason, but I did stay. It was because I was financially, so he was financially supporting me. I was financially dependent on him. So, ladies, wise up. Always have your own money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a dummy. I always need to have my own money. But let me tell you how he got me. I just want to clarify, I did marry him at 19. Um, maybe he had been a little too young. But in a sense, I don't feel like I, like, I was, I don't know how to explain it. But basically how he got me was, I was going to medical assistant school. And I don't know if I just told the story. But I asked him to pay for the internship. He, he was like, okay. And then he couldn't pay for it. He couldn't pay for rent. Oh, that's what it was. I'm a visual learner. And I told him, like, yeah, I have been doing all the book work through my medical assistant through school. But I really want to take internship because I know I'm a visual learner. Like, this is where I'm going to return all my information. So I asked him, hey, babe, you know, can you pay the rent for one month? Like, I don't want to have to worry about anything. Just pay all the bills. So he agreed to it. You know what I'm saying? And then he couldn't uphold that promise. So, of course, like, I'm at this point, I'm like, man, intern is unpaid. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just not have to do intern. You know, I'm, I'm a little sad about it. I'm kind of talking shit. So then, like, I don't know what it's called, but, like, he tried to, like, come for me and was, like, you just trying to get more money than me so you can leave me for another man. So that became a whole thing for, like, some time. Not to mention he paid for some pussy that same month, but couldn't pay for our rent. I, I just didn't get that. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So at this point, I started to try to prove a point to him that I wanted him to feel like he was the breadwinner, that I'm not going to make as much money as him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted him to feel like... I'm not trying to leave you. I'm not going to make, you know, yeah. So the dynamic of the relationship has been him making more money, him working, whatever. So while I do work, I just work like part-time work. Like I don't really bring in money for it. Not the money that I dreamt of having or I knew that I wanted. I know, I know, fucking stupid. It's, it's no need to keep telling me this. I got it. I promise you. It took me a long time, but I think my brain needs to be studied. Because like, how can I be so stupid? And... I questioned myself, like, damn, what's my environment? Was it the food I was eating? Like, what the fuck was it? Because, honestly, if I have to be honest, y'all, I was I was not. No, Nobody taught me this. My mama damn sure raised me better than this. I Raised me better than this. I can tell you that much. Let's not mention why I'm in Massachusetts. 
two, I already know about Massachusetts because my mama got accepted to Harvard University. So that tell you, my family is far from fucking down. I, I just made me a little slow, not too much of me down. Um, so that's, yeah, that's that story, okay? I don't really wanna stick on that. Um, he's the only one who had got tested that time. I was at, I was at home sleep with my nephew. So I know some of y'all was saying that they do testing cause he, that he got the HIV, HIV tested because of pregnancy. No, he was by himself, like, if you look at the other little thing, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. You'll see that he said that um, basically the word is, it means that he said he had um, freaker urination, urination and burning in his dang lane. Mind you, we had an intercourse a week ago and I stay up to date on this. Like, obviously and I'm pregnant too, so I definitely stay up to date on it. And I, pers I don't have anything, okay? So I was real curious why the thing like so obviously I y'all just nip it in but he wants to get tested because he knew what he did. And like I said previously, he basically had gave me chlamydia doing the same actions with the same kind of folks. Playing with a prostitute, he gave me a S T D last time. But that time we was in Houston. And what do y'all know about Houston? What? Oh, okay. Makes sense, right? So now he doing it in another state here. He felt like, oh, let me help him get my testing. You know, cause if some shit pop up later on. I'm clear myself. I, I don't know, like, but I'm pretty sure, like, this uh, he was going along them lines. Um, he only had intercourse or whatever. I don't know what that is. I don't know if she gave him oral or intercourse. I didn't get that deep as to what kind of activity they did. But this is the first time he met her. If that's his first time doing that here since we've been here for a year, girl, your guess is good as mine. Um, I also want to talk about the address thing. He said the address was wrong. I don't believe her, but honestly, y'all, y'all gotta know that about how the address is working, Boston. Um, that address, like, Boston's houses are stacked and they're built, like, they're built out and they're built up. So, honestly, y'all, if you wanted to stalk the girl, try to play with the girl, you really would not find that girl. I promise you. That's why I was bold enough to, uh, to, uh, post the address. I know, but I'm not too far from school. Mind you, I am going to school for criminal justice as well. So I, I know how that stuff roll. Lastly, I want to talk about how, um, you know, signs and signals, like I said, like I said, y'all absolutely correct. There was a shitload, a ton of signs and signals. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I know or how I know. I don't know. I don't know. But my very first one should have been like, he was like, if he about getting married, he just was kind of, I feel like he was kind of really negative. And that's when I had to teach him, like, and I, I'm trying to use my, I try to, like, instill in my God in him, like, you know, you gotta be positive. If God wanted to happen, it'll happen. And, you know, I just felt like he tried to make a lot of excuses. But later on, like, during arguments, he'll be like, yeah, I really want to do it because I was thinking about my BM. She was gonna be mad and da 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 da. And I'm like, well, I don't want to feel like I pressure you because I feel like what you're saying is making me feel like I pressure you. Like, you really could have just said no. I promise you could have just said no. I promise you could have said no. I was just going by God, my faith. And that's what I said in the video. I was like, God, what was the purpose? Because I know I asked God. I, I wouldn't worry about a nobody, Nathaniel. I was talking to God about this. So it was this, on my behalf, it was the decision between me, you, and God. Is the reason why me and you was able to sign them documents and say, I do that day. I'm happy, I'm blessed, y'all. I'm thriving, I'm striving. And one thing for sure about me is God instilled and stripped me. It just had got a little weekend, but we gon' yeah, fuck you just saying. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.